Welcome to the How to DIY Home Security video. Our first project is going to be fitting a cylinder lock. First remove the lock and fittings from the packaging. Place all the fittings into a bowl so as not to misplace any of them. Read the fitting instructions carefully. Included with the lock should be a fitting template. Hold this against the door, marking any center points for drilling holes. Remove the template and drill the holes to the maker's specifications. Different diameter holes will have to be drilled into the door with a variety of wood bits. In some cases you may have to drill holes to specified depths. To do this, simply mark the depth onto the drill bit with a pencil. As the drill bit rotates you'll be able to see the pencil mark. Now drill the door to this depth. It's always worth buying a good quality lock. Your insurance company can advise you and in some cases will negotiate a discount off your policy. When you need to drill all the way through a door, generally for the cylinder part of the lock mechanism, only drill through until the point appears on the other side of the door. Drill from the other side. Position the lock against the door, marking around the portion that needs to be rebated. Remove this portion of the door with a chisel and mallet. Check that the lock fits correctly. Okay. Following the lock instructions, assemble the fittings of the lock into the door. You'll usually have to start with the assembly of the cylinder. After the cylinder mechanism has been fitted and tightened, position the lock mechanism onto the door. Mark any pilot holes that need to be drilled. Drill these with the appropriate drill bit and fit the lock to the door. Use the key and test the lock. Now mark the position on the door frame where the keep needs to be fitted. Chop this section out with a chisel and mallet.
Chisel out small pieces at a time. Tidy up. Check and fit, remembering to drill pilot holes as required. Now would be a very good time to decorate the woodwork before fitting the keep. Try the door, checking that the lock works correctly. Fitting a mortise lock. Mark the centre of the middle rail. This is the position in this door where the lock will be fitted. Square round onto the edge of the door. Now find the middle of the mortise lock and mark up with a pencil. Match these two lines up. Then mark the top and bottom of the lock onto the door. Draw around the profile of the lock onto the face of the door. There are many different types of mortise locks available, some suitable for internal doors and some for external. Again, as with the cylinder lock, it's advisable to consult your insurance company before fitting. After transferring the portion of the door that needs to be chopped out, find the center line and mark. Use a flat bladed wood bit, slightly larger than the width of the lock mechanism. Wrap a piece of adhesive tape around the bit at the depth that the holes need to be drilled. Carefully drill the marked position of the door, removing the section that will accommodate the mechanism. Square up the hole, chiseling out with a wide bladed chisel. When this has been completed, tidy up with a smaller chisel and try the lock. Draw around the edge of the lock and remove enough of the timber to accommodate the lock face. Once you've done this, check that the lock fits. Now place the lock on the front of the door and mark the position of the handle and keyhole. Drill these out on both sides of the door. Use a smaller drill to give you the position to drill from on the other side. As the keyhole is a rectangular shape, drill two holes and then tidy up with a chisel. Now fit the lock into the door. Push the spindle through the lock mechanism. 
position the door handle, square up and fix to the door. Check that the lock works. Close the door, moving the door backwards and forwards. This will mark the door frame where the keep will need to be fitted. Position the keep on the door frame. Draw around the sections that need to be chopped out. Chisel these out with suitable sized chisels, remembering that the lock and latch area need to be quite deep. Check that the keep fits correctly. Drill the pilot holes and fix. The catch plate will need to be bent slightly in order for the door to open and close properly. Fitting hinge bolts. Hinge bolts can be fitted to external doors to prevent doors being forced off their hinges. Following the maker's instructions, mark the position on the door where the bolt will need to be fitted. With a piece of tape, mark the drill bit to the depth required. Now drill the door to this depth. Hammer the bolt portion into the door. The knilled end fixes into the timber. Gently pull the door to. The bolt will mark the door frame. Where the frame is marked, drill a hole using a flat bladed wood bit to the specified depth. Try to keep the drill as straight as possible. Now fit the steel bolt keep. It'll need to be sunk into the door frame. Chisel this out to the depth of the plate. When using a chisel, always use a mallet, not a hammer. Carefully remove the timber a little at a time. Check that the steel bolt keep fits correctly and fix with the screws provided. Fix the bottom door bolt in exactly the same way. You can see how effective these bolts are should someone attempt to prise the door off its hinges. Fitting window locks. There are many different types of window locks available. They're an additional form of security. Usually the window locks need to be fitted in two stages. It'll probably be best to fit the main part of the lock to the opening section of the window first. Mark the position of the lock and drill pilot holes. Screw the lock to the window. Now mark the window frame by screwing down the locking portion or screw. Mark the position of the lock keep onto the window frame. Drill the frame as appropriate, that is, pilot holes and the hole for the locking screw section.
fix the locking plate to the frame. Now screw down the locking Allen key screw. Never leave the key in the lock or even near to the lock. This defeats the object of fitting it in the first place. The window is now much more secure. Fitting door bolts. Door bolts are a good additional security measure to fit to any door. It's advisable to fit two of these into a door, one at the top and one at the bottom. Mark the position on the door. Drill the depth with a flat bladed drill. Try to keep the drill as straight as possible. Check that the hole is drilled to the correct depth and mark around the edge of the bolt face plate. Chisel out so that the bolt face plate is level with the door. Cut around the marked edge with a wide bladed chisel. Now remove the correct depth. Mark the position where the keyhole needs to be drilled. Only drill through one half of the door so that the door bolt cannot be opened from the other side. Drill the hole. Now mark the key plate holes and fix. Fit the bolt into the door with the screws provided. Close the door and move the bolt backwards and forwards. This will mark the door frame where the keep will need to be fitted. Drill the hole to a suitable depth to accommodate the bolt when in the closed position. Fit the steel keep plate and check that the door locks tightly. Fitting a door chain. A door chain fitted to your front door is another small measure of security. Too often people who have door chains fitted never use them correctly. Don't forget, don't just use them when you go to bed. Get into the habit of leaving the chain on at all times. Visitors can be vetted before letting them into your home. Door chains are very easy to fit, requiring only a minimum amount of tools. Follow the fitting instructions on the pack. Handy Hints Another good security measure is to seal your loft hatch with bolts. It's relatively easy to enter a house by simply removing a few tiles, climbing into the loft space and then gaining entry into your house. Also, some semi-detached or terrace houses have linked loft spaces, increasing any risk of entry into your home. Fence panels can be easily removed, particularly if concrete posts have been used. They simply slide up. To seal these panels and stop intruders lifting the panels up, run a bead of exterior silicon between the concrete post 
and the fence panel. To stop intruders climbing over fence panels, thorn bushes or holly can be planted. Many shrubs are available that will deter the would-be intruder. These can also be planted under ground floor windows. Never leave ladders accessible. Always chain and padlock ladders to a wall. A good personal safety item is a smoke alarm. Make sure that the battery is checked frequently.